Champs, uh, people of Golf Clash, we're taking a look at the new ball sack. This is a, a, a really strange uh, ball here, um, just because, I mean, it's not necessarily, like, completely round because you have this little, like, nipple bottle head thing sticking out. I mean, it's kind of cool that you have, like, butterflies and, you know, squirrels and stuff running around in the trees in there and stuff. You know, I mean, I, I, the stats are underwhelming for me. This is just a kingmaker with one extra side spin, you know, but it does have a big fat precision stat right there. I mean, you're going to be able to hit perfect all day long with this ball right here. What's the overpower needle stability? Plus three? Holy crap. Are you kidding me? Jeez, man. Champs, people of Golf Clash, we do have a new ball in the shop, the Woodland Ball. And the one thing I can say about this ball right here is I, I think the design is really cool. You know, it's kind of like a snow globe kind of ball, you know, where you can see, see into the interior. There's like a bonsai tree with some butterflies and some mushrooms and some, you know, weed plants down there at the bottom. And then it's, it has this weird like nipple seal bottle cap in there in the top so that that could present some problems when trying to like you know truly center up this ball right here i mean this is a really a gimmick ball in my opinion but if you do play rookie if you do play pro or expert you know to an extent i believe this ball could help simply because it's a precision five i mean look at the overpower needle stability plus three I mean, this is absolutely massive. This is probably one of the highest statted balls if you count in the plus three. So uh, that's eight. That's nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 stats alone on the ball. And if you count in the plus three, that's 18. I, I can't think of another stat. I can't think of another ball that has 18 if you count the plus three right there. So this is one of the highest statted balls there is. It just doesn't speak to me in the stats that I'm looking for. I would have happily traded some side spin away for some more wind resistance. If they would have flip-flopped those around and made it a side spin three, win four, that would have been a beautiful, beautiful thing. I mean, my God, I'd have gone heavy into that. But I think PD missed the boat here as far as the wind resistance right there. But that's just my opinion. You know, this ball could be very helpful for really, really, I mean, anybody, anybody. A precision five ball will be helpful. That's just a fact. But, I mean, we already know how many win three balls exist in the game. And we already know how many power three win three balls exist in the game. And that is a vast, 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 vast amount. We'll take a look real quick just to show you. From your kingmakers all the way down to your lucky pots to... I mean, you, you you name it. There's just there's just an untold amount of three 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 or three power three win threes right there. Here we and some of some of them even have top spin boosts like the Easter Ball and Virtuoso. That's a cool ball right there. You know, uh, I, I like this ball a lot. The little peanut size ball. That's a good one. Uh, then you got the the fan favorite, the gargoyle ball right there. Everybody's favorite. Five thousand in stock. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. But, I mean, you got the Rudolph ball. That was one of Neo's favorites. You got this piece of shit, Striker, which is like a plus one kingmaker. What a piece. You got the Starfish, which is, you know, the top spin boost. So, I mean, there are just so, 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 so many. Then you got the old school kingmaker right there. So, I mean, really, it just depends on, you know, your ability to hit perfect. And, you know, are you taking practice shots with kingmakers and stuff like that? Well, if you are, this is going to save you some time because you're not going to have to worry about hitting a great or something like that. You know, you go ahead and take your practice with a precision. That way you know what your practice is. You go live with whatever ball you're going to play, and that way, you know, you've done your deal. At least that's my two cents on this ball right here. You know, depending on what level of tour play you have opened, it's not really going to help you in the checkpoint challenge. And if you're a low-level tour player, then this ball might help you in the checkpoint challenge. Overall, I believe that a, a power three precision five ball is always going to be uh, helpful in the end, no matter what. But uh, for me, this is an easy no. Uh, just always interested to hear what you're going to do, champs. Let me know. Good luck to you.